Yes, indeed, you've guessed it. It's Mitch underneath this mop of hair. My lockdown locks. Well, I just haven't managed to get to the barber yet, so uh, I will do. I mean, I was going to go for the surfer look, but then my mum just told me I looked like the wild man of Borneo. <laughs> Whoever the wild man of Borneo is. And, uh, well, I'll get them cut anyway. Anyway, enough about my hair. How are you? I've really missed you. It's been like months and months and months now. So, um... I realise how important drama is, and I know you do, and I know I've had lots of lovely messages from people saying how much everybody's missing drama, and as soon as we can go back, we will. We're just going to stay safe about it and do government advice, so that's that. There's nothing else we can do. Um, sort of stuck here in my office until I can see you again, just like the rest of the teachers. But you have been sending some amazing things in with the Monday mission, which was created to help you through lockdown um, so just after Easter and lots of people have been sending in their missions in film form so if you go onto the Sussex Youth Theatre Facebook page you can have a look at those some are hilarious, some are funny, some will make you cry They're, and really clever some of them are just really really clever and I really enjoyed watching all of them also people have sent in scripts and I know people have been engaging at home so it's been really lovely to see you all if not in a group but just you know via email, social media and um, seeing bits and bobs that are coming in and um, I know I speak for the whole teaching clan when I just say we've been thinking of you and we really hope all your families are really really well okay now what's happening next um, there'll be some announcements in the next few weeks on and off but now these are all about um, the world premiere of the films that's right the world premiere of our films that we created last October November now the mission for everybody was to create a five minute original film um, with original ideas with their teacher and that's exactly what they did they had a four hour window I said everything's got to be du -du -du as we come in um, which it was everything was filmed in particular places and it was filmed in um, in a different order as well which is a bit weird sometimes for the kids so it was the, the main aim was to show the difference between television and film technique and theatre so in theatre there's more of a continuity and in film you could film the last um, shoot the last scene first and then the first scene last you know it's all higgledy piggledy anyway I'm not going to ramble our first um, our first venue is Stenning this is our first of ten we've got 13 venues but this is first of ten now Stenning is led by the wonderful fabulous incomparable Chloe Holt who is a fabulous teacher and a really great friend and the students there really adore her she's just so engaging with them and engaging I say there's a um, I mean the strangeness of their piece I mean it's brilliant it's really really good um, and I can't wait for you to see it and I know I ramble so I'm not going to ramble anymore I'm not going to give the game away so let us take you to little moaning and some really eerie things happening A sleepy village in England. Mystery and bewilderment have haunted this quaint place for over three years. Unexpected events, mysterious disappearances. Actors reconstruct this haunting tale of a now desolate village. No, you need need some blush too. <sighs> Have you seen your parents? No. What about you? No. It's weird. I woke up at four, five, six, and when I went down for breakfast, 
My parents weren't there. That's been the same with us. We haven't seen our parents this morning for breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. I simply cannot wait for breakfast. I got up at half four, had it in bed, then I got up at seven and had it in front of the TV. You are disgusting. We're lucky our parents had a second chance with me. Hey guys, they're 20 minutes late. What is going on? They could have taken the outside way, which takes slightly longer, but not this long. Yeah. I'm going to check the office and the staff room. I'm going to check the car park. Honestly, I can't believe you right now. Oh, this sleepover we've been planning for months was on my schedule. Yeah, well, my dad doesn't stick to a schedule. I've gathered that. Look, I'm going to see my dad. End of. Firstly, nothing. Secondly, nothing. All I saw was scattered paperwork. All the teachers were tidy people. The car park. I don't know. Car's in. Not even the caretaker. I thought he'd lift it. Hey guys, that's the bell. Well then the teachers must have to be. Oh no, it's an automatic. That means... Get on the school! Right, the staff room. Take over the canteen! Yes! Yeah. 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 I was in my room and I saw the screen light and I fainted. All I saw was a bit of blue lightning, but that can happen when the electrodes get too high. So I was in my bed late at night and I just saw this massive green light. I was just asleep the entire time. We came into assembly and there were no teachers anywhere. So we waited for like 10, 20 minutes and then the bell went and there was still nowhere to be seen. Cool. The sun's blown up. It hasn't. This is a solar eclipse weather phenomenon. It last happened in 1824. What happened in 1824? Nobody knows. Look guys, more to the point, we are having a meeting to find out where the parents have gone. Like being detectives. You don't know what the meaning of the word detective is? Yes, it's a type of fruit. Why are you here? Hashtag Geek Squad. Let's go question some witnesses. What's a witness? It's probably another fruit. <coughs> are you okay? Yeah, you are, uh, Jack. You are <laughs> back? No adults. No. Yeah? <laughs> no teachers. Brilliant. <laughs> you know what that means. Okay, that's what? some card don't know. <laughs> the Shining, my house, tonight. That's an adult movie. We've got to ask an adult first. Mate, there are no adults. Do you know what that means? Yeah, but we'll get in trouble. Whoa, With whoa, who? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It just means he won't be able to share my sister's secret chocolate stash. On second thoughts. Embrace your inner sacra. Oh my gosh, today's gone so wrong. First of all, we go into assembly 9am sharp. Why set the time if they can't be there on time? Oh, and second of all, you bail on me for a sleep we've been planning for months. Oh, and then thirdly, I'm up all night doing my math homework and the cheat died not to come in. And it's like pitch black and it's like 11am. Oh my god. It's all sitting my anxiety levels right oh off. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Has someone died? Look! My 4G. It's ran out. Okay, now between your knees and breathe. We went outside for an extra break. It was like pitch black. It was like an eclipse or something. So, there were no teachers in assembly and 
Jack was talking about raiding the cafeteria and I thought that was a pretty good idea, so I went with him. Me and my bud Alfie went to see where the teachers were. Alfie checked the car park and I checked the office and staff room. We couldn't find anything. We were at the window and then it went black. Okay, I've just called this meeting as a progress check so we know how everyone's doing. So, first of all, have there been any major incidents? I've run out of pen and paper. What do you need pen and paper for? To do extra maths. Why do you need... I'm in charge and I ban maths. Yeah. Write that down. Yes. What? Um, I hit my head trying to get your chocolate stir. We'll talk later. Um, any major, uh, what's this? accidents? Yes. Your chocolate's giving me a stomachache. Karma. Anything else? Okay, what have people been eating? I've been eating what you've been giving me. I thought you liked baked beans on toast. It's nutritionally void. Well, I can make you scrambled eggs. Well, that would be great. Scrambled eggs. I've had enough. You people are talking about baked beans and scrambled eggs. How long have the parents been missing? Two. Yeah, and I've figured it out. I've marked out the places where the parents went missing first. The shop, the church, the pond and the school. And they all make a perfect circle. So? And we're in the middle of it. Uh, uh, guys? We just walked out the window and then it just went blank. And then I can't remember what happened after that. I can't really remember anything. Well, basically, I can't remember. I haven't got a clue. I can't remember. Two weeks after their mysterious disappearance, the children reappeared in their homes as if nothing had happened. They had no recollection of where they had been, and no idea where their parents were. The children were all removed from Little Moaning in the biggest mass evacuation since the Second World War. The children still don't know what happened, and their parents were never seen again. Well, I thought that was an absolutely brilliant short film. Well done, everyone at Stenning. Now, um, my hair was going mad during that because I was just wondering, you know, were they taken away? Where did the parents end up? Why couldn't the children remember anything that happened? What was that strange green light in the sky? Was there a lot of barbers and hairdressers waiting to come down to do our hair? Anyway, I wait with anticipation. Next week, we have the Shoreham group. So well done, Stenning. You did absolutely brilliantly. I really, really loved it. So top marks to you. So tune in next week for Shoreham. <laughs>